Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me for a look at our weekend forecast for March 27th and March 28th. We're in a pretty active weather pattern here as we currently have a storm rolling through today, which could actually even bring a few rumbles of thunder this afternoon. Um, we'll bring some gusty winds tonight, but it'll be clearing out for tomorrow, um, and we should get um, some sun in the afternoon tomorrow. We'll be a little cooler on the back side of the front. And then on Sunday, we have another storm approaching from the southwest, basically uh, very similar to the storm that we're going to get today, uh, which will also bring um, some uh, heavier rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder sun late Sunday afternoon into the evening, um, and also some strong winds particularly Sunday overnight into Monday um, that we'll have to keep an eye on. So here's the details of what we're looking at here on your surface map. You can see our low pressure system for today, which is going to be heading up to our west, basically. Um, and uh, you can see we've got a pretty high, strong, uh, high pressure system here to our north, which is why we're going to get some real gusty winds on the back side of this storm. We do have a wind advisory in effect for tonight into tomorrow morning. Um, the winds will be diminishing by tomorrow morning. So if you're going out to try to do anything outside tomorrow, uh, it'll be breezy in the morning, um, but the winds will be diminishing. Um, I think gusts in the morning of uh, 15 to 25 miles an hour, diminishing to just uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts as we head through the uh, later pattern in the morning into the afternoon. Um, and then here's our storm, which is just developing now. We've got a, a quick moving uh, storm pattern now uh, over the southwestern United States. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at that on um, uh, the 500 millibar vorticity map, um, we can see we've got lots of energy with this first storm. We actually have a pretty strong piece of energy associated with the second storm as well. Um, and, but we are still kind of in this general southwest to northeast flow, which is why all of this is bringing with it rain and not snow. There was some thought that the storm on Sunday originally would bring snow, but all the models have trended way away from that in the last couple of days. And any snow that comes from the storm is going to be confined to way far, way far, far northern Maine, uh, like Caribou and into Quebec, um, uh, instead of any of the snow finding its way into more central and southern New England. Uh, in terms of... Uh, Satellite imagery, we can see our storm today is uh, cranking up. And actually, we've got this little, uh, we've got another round, and we're going to show you the radar here in a minute, but a round of showers. But then we may get in this area back here where there's actually some sun. We could get a peak of sun or two this afternoon, and that could lead us to seeing a few showers and thunderstorms this afternoon could develop in some of, if we get any uh, clearing um, and we really warm the temperatures up and get some instability in the atmosphere. Um, on radar, you can see that we don't have any, we can, we do have a few heavier already elements with this. This is sort of uh, kind of a warm front, kind of an occluded front that's headed in this direction. And then you can see the beginnings of a few uh, right now showers, but these may develop into thunderstorms and we might see some more develop kind of in this area and head towards us in the afternoon. Um, I don't think we'll see, uh, we are in the marginal risk for severe weather this afternoon, according to the Severe Weather Prediction Center, um, but I don't think we'll see any severe weather. It's not impossible, but it's pretty unlikely. Um, but a rumble of thunder is definitely not out of the question, and a quick uh, bout with gusty winds. Um, and then we'll even get on the backside of the storm some pretty gusty winds with some cold air advection. It's possible a tree or two or limb or two could come down. I uh, wouldn't be shocked if there was a, a power outage or two, but I, I think very limited. Um, I think it's a better chance of that actually on Sunday night um, at, with that storm. So let's look at the details of the forecast for the weekend. Um, for tomorrow, morning clouds giving way to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. A bit breezy, pretty windy actually to start, but winds will diminish pretty significantly throughout the day. Uh, we're going to start off the day in the upper 30s. Um, we're going to make it into the low 50s. Uh, Sunday, um, clouds uh, will be, have developed before we wake up in the morning uh, and with rain developing in the afternoon. A rumble of thunder is also possible. Uh, winds will gust 35 to 45 miles an hour. That's more like Sunday night into Monday morning. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, that may be even a little conservative, that estimate on wind gusts. So power outages are a little more possible on Sunday. Again, I still don't see a huge widespread power outage situation, but it's definitely possible. We're also going to get a quarter to uh, an inch and a quarter of rain. Uh, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. That that an inch and a quarter of rain would not be enough on Sunday to cause flooding issues, but uh, two inches might start to cause not widespread flooding issues, but a few. And so we're going to have to keep an eye on that, especially if there's any embedded thunderstorms in there um, where we've had a lot of snow melt. The rivers are up, um, not real high, but plenty high. Um, they're like they would be under normal snow melt conditions. And so we're going to have to keep a bit of an eye on that on Sunday. I'll probably have a forecast out tomorrow that looks specifically at the Sunday storm because I think it could have some impact in your practical day-to-day -day life um, in terms of possibly losing power 
for a short amount of time and not many of you, but a few of you, and also have to see about um, if there if there really is any flooding potential with that storm. So um, I'll be back uh, to take a look at that storm. And in the meantime, thanks for uh, checking out my forecast this weekend. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel in the past, you should do so as it um, gives you an opportunity to uh, get my store, uh, get my forecasts more regularly. Um, drop a like uh, on the YouTube uh, video as well. That helps new people discover what we're talking about here. And also, um, if you're interested, uh, I do a special weekend forecast for my patrons um, and also give shout outs to them and things like that. If you're interested in becoming a patron, um, you can uh, follow the link below to my site and it has details on what it means to become a patron uh, and things like that. So uh, thanks for joining me.